a bit different this time. <laughs> Probably far I forgot something. Right. Been to Clacton. I was in Clacton to a uh, rally. Pardon? St John's Ambulance. St John's Ambulance Brigade. I was a cadet. St John's Ambulance Brigade um, yeah. at, at uh, Butlins, and I remember we'd done that that day, and I came home, but I don't know how I got home bus or, or whether they took us over by transport or not. I don't know, but they they. I got home, and at, at the time, my mother was in hospital, Gold Star Hospital, whatever. My father was in bed at home in our house in Churchfield Road, and across the road, my grandmother lived, so I went there for some supper. I went in there, and in time, went out to go to the toilet, stepped out into water, out the back door. And with that, I was coming over the steps and coming in, and she said to me, she said, go across and get your father out, tell him the water's coming in, we want help. By the time I got across the road to our house, which was just only a few yards, it was into our step, in our house, and we were higher up than them. So grandmother got water, eventually and grandmother went up to about chest high in the hall. In our house, Father went to lift a, well, the chair or on a table, futile effort of course, and he broke the electric lights which was live, and then we had fun going to Father getting an electric shock, mm -hmm. and he went in and we were, we were driven then, in our house it was about 18 inches deep I would say in our actual house when it finished, when the flood finished. But the wind, the, the, blind, the, the night, everybody was out in the road because of this, well, the sea coming straight in it. And it just it was everything. There was, there was things everywhere. That night, one comedy thing there in the old, <laughs> what, what happened with the comedy, was, <laughs> was an old, we used to keep in the gardens, people would, would put the soot from the chimney to let it cool down and then you put it in the garden. And a piece of this took off like a, like a cow pat and hit some chap on the head. He covered the soot. <laughs> that was, that, yeah, that happened. In the wind. Sure. In the wind, because it was blowing like the hell that night. And really we just hung about for the night till it got lighter and lighter. And what, hung about in the street? Yeah, in the street. You know. But the street was water. Yeah, water everywhere, everywhere. Um, it came up from us, it came up to the, the crossroads at the church mm. and of course met to the top of the road in Middle Lane which, and we were in the middle of that lot. Um, but the next day was the day when there was stuff everywhere, there was, there was all sorts of things everywhere. Just um, moved around by the tide and Yeah, the but stuff was everywhere, we had dead chickens and dead sheep and well, every, well you can imagine that the stuff out of everybody's garden, stuff was here, there and everywhere. All sorts of rubbish. It's, uh, it was, you know, it's, it's all to explain, there was so much. And the things that happened, um, one of the, you took, people talk about the old car, concrete barges, which you can see on the wall now. One of them was in, in the caravan camp. They've gone over the wall, or it floated this barge over the top. Yeah. So, you know, just to give you some idea at the height what, what, what was happening, or, you know, it was, it was it never happened like this before, no. right, down, right down the East Coast, right down Europe. Yeah, so the next day, did you did you go down Savile Street, <laughs> up to the seafront? Up no, the next, next, day, next day was school, right? Oh, really? Next day was school, or supposedly, and I, 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 the first day I went to school in the uh, old little school in the high school, which is now the library, mm. and then I was moved from there to the Congregational Church for another day, and then they moved our lot, because we were the seniors in the school at the time. We went into the lounge 
uh, uh, the raised lounge at the back of the bathhouse and we spent all our time there until we went back to school. We were flooded at the schools, completely mm. flooded, I mean the flood really is. And um, Canada cottages were all completely flooded. I mean it was a hell of a mess, but it was a mess everywhere. I mean you've got sewage, you've got everything. Everything. The houses were filthy and mud and, and mud and filthy. Yeah, you know, you, until it actually happens to you, you can't imagine it. It's, it's filth everywhere. And I went to school there for the rest of, I don't know, I don't know how many weeks I was there, several weeks till I got the school back to use it for a long, quite a long time. Um, we loved it. Every afternoon they'd take, just take us a walk up the days. That was all right, no school. Right. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. you know, that was, that was basic my, my students, but it didn't fin really finish there because when we got back to school eventually, Eventually, we got back to school. Yeah, I was uh, the class I was in was the old woodwork room they made, and at the end of that, all this food had been supplied by Europe to us. You know, yeah. love to leave. And now I can remember now, kids used to go and pinch them. They were boxes of dates. Really. And, and, and currants and raisins. Well, you can imagine. That time we, you know, water or just after the war. Yeah. And, and that was that was a bonanza for us, like most we were. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we it was it was an experience. Um, we should never want it again. It's been close. It's been close a couple of times. Yeah. I mean, did you? Can you remember hearing about what had happened over at? Bathside Bay and, and at Jaywick. Not really. The only thing we did here that we had to watch out with stuff you picked up because way, where the wind was, Bramble flood, Bramble Island Explosive Factory oh, yeah. was flooded and explosives were out on the Sultans and along the seawalls. Really? And things. Yeah, well, they were washed out. And people were warned against just picking up anything. You know, you know they were. Mm. It was done. Nobody really went to the marshes in that time, in the time or the sea war, really, because it was it could be dangerous. You didn't you didn't know what was out there mm. from Bramble, you know, at the time. But um, it it was the night watchman. It was it was uh, he was drowned. He was drowned. Yeah, yeah. And, and funny enough, I, I I ended up working there for about twelve years. But um, it, it it was an experience. How long did it take to clean up your house? God, weeks and weeks and weeks where these big aircraft dryers, um, which they dry aircraft with, RAF come and put them in the house and they would fan blow for days and days and days, blasting heat through your house to try and dry the house. Mm. You know, because every, but for years that, that damp showed, you know, once the salt was in, that's in. But, uh, Yes, it was, it was. It was a big experience, uh, you know. Mm. And you don't remember hearing in, about Canby Island, or no, not really. No, I don't remember much about those things. Jaywick. The only um, we had one lady in our road. She died, but she didn't die of the flood. But we reckon the upset of it killed mm. her. You know, that was the only fatality we had anywhere like this way. We no. People were able to get out. We had we had time, and Walton was just that bit high enough that they didn't get the town. Yeah, it got outlying bits, but not the town as such. You know, because the water was going right through. Uh, the, 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 when I was a boy, the the water used to go right through the Kirby Road. Hmm. That was a my playground. That was all marshland there, all yeah. about there, and and of course that took it through. Up that, that way, but there weren't a lot of houses up there. They're just a few houses, but mm. but they got wet. Yeah, and and you know they suffered, carpets ruined, all that sort of stuff, which we were, we were given eventually. But um, it 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 was chaos. Oh, hell no, that was really. But it turned out it killed a lot of people. Mm. And when that game that surge, when that, when that oh, yeah. Yeah. It killed a lot of people. But, um, 
No, I was lucky, really, but I can remember all right. Right, I think that will uh, we'll have to stop. She's got uh, being invaded with people. Thanks ever so much. That's right, mate. Anytime I help her, I'm always available.